one, and lift off. This was 2011, the solar-powered spacecraft launching into the sky, heading for the largest planet in our solar system. Now, five years later, there's one chance for NASA's Juno spacecraft to enter Jupiter's orbit. What we're targeting is a space that's tens of kilometers wide. We're going to hit that within 1.2 seconds after a journey of 1.7 billion miles. That tells you just how good our navigation team is. They're sounding optimistic, but there are challenges. If any dust is in our way and hits that nozzle, it will knock a hole right through the coating that protects the nozzle and allows the engine to burn uninterrupted. So that's one of the big gambles. But if it pays off, this will be the closest encounter with Jupiter. The mission will answer questions about the planet's interior, how and where it was formed, and the amount of water Jupiter contains. This is pretty exciting. Scott Young has been following Juno since it launched. He says this will help scientists learn about the bigger picture. We've always wanted to know where our planet came from, where our planet is going to, what is, what is the fate of our solar system and things like that. Um, but we're also interested in, you know, is there other life out there? Is there life on, in our solar system? Those kinds of things. Water is a crucial ingredient for life. It won't be known if Juno has entered Jupiter's orbit until nearly midnight Eastern time. If something goes wrong, the spacecraft will likely fly past Jupiter and will be unable to complete the mission, estimated at a cost of over a billion dollars. Alana Cole, CBC News, Winnipeg.